Okay, game changer here today. Now, with radicals, we now have an addition sign. That means I detect a problem totally different than making the six lines and trying to simplify it. First off, you want your degrees. You always want their twos if you don't have them. Put twos. But we don't take them out of radical form. We're not going to put it to the half power. That's a multiplication division technique. All you do with a plus sign, at least here, you look at the insides, they're of the same degree, and if they're the same, then you can write that radical 2 over 6. Don't add those. You want those to end to keep the same, and you add the coefficients, 10 plus 2, that's 12. Easy. Okay, next one, same thing. If you have a minus, make it a plus negative, and then radicals are both 2, and the insides match. So I put that matching inside expression, and then I take 8 plus negative 5. That's 3. 3 square root 3x. Then a minus plus negative. Okay. Both 2's and the insides match. Okay, the expressions on the inside match. So I put what that match is, and then I add 3 plus negative 2. That's 1. It's very similar to adding like combining like terms. Okay, next one. Radicals are of a 2, and the inside expression matches, so you put that inside match, and then you add 3x plus 4x, that's 7x. It's not 7x squared, that's a multiplication thing when it becomes x squared. Okay. Alright, next thing. Plus negative. So your radicals are of a degree 5, and what do you know? The inside expression matches. So radical 5, and then I put 3x to the second, and then 17 plus negative 15 is 2. So 2 fifth root of 3x squared. Okay, on this one, remember, plus negative. Radicals are of a 2 degree. And the insides match. We have y, so I can now combine 8 plus negative 12. That's negative 4. All right, now here's a different thing. This actually is the answer. Because you have radical 3s, but the inside expressions don't match. And you can't simplify the insides so that they do match, because m and n you can't simplify. Okay, why don't you pause the video and do numbers 1 through 5. There's one that you can't. Do there's one that can't be simplified that answers the original problem. Okay, now let's take a look at what to do if the insides don't match. So you got 10 with a square root over 27 minus 4 means plus negative 4 with a square root of 12. So the degrees match, but the insides don't. So we cannot you can't add 27 and 12. It doesn't work that way. So you have two things being added. Make a chart here, make a table, and just put 10 square root of 27 on one side. And on the other side, you're going to put negative 4 square root over 12. Now, what you do is, first off, check your square root list. That's this list. And see if 27 and 12 are here. Nope, they're not. Okay, 27 is not a perfect square, neither is 12. So what I do then is I, line, I drop my coefficient times and then two square roots. Now you start dividing. So you'd start at 25. That's a decimal. Then you go to 16, decimal, then 9. Bingo. So I refill those in with 9 and 3. So the square root of 9 equals 3. So this here, this first one becomes, becomes integer 3. So I have integer 10 times integer 3 times radical 2 over 3. So I multiply the integers. 30 radical 2 over 3. So you cross that out and put 30 radical 2 over 3. Now we need to see if what we can do with the other one. Same strategy. Okay. Negative 4 times radical radical. 2 and 2. So 12 divisible by 9. You'd start at 9. Nope. Divisible by 4. Yep. So 4 and 3. 4, 3. So the square root of 4 turns into its integer value of 2. So 
So you replace that with 2, the other radical you leave. So you have negative 4 integer times integer 2 times integer 2 over 3. So that is negative 8 radical 2 over 3. And I have now accomplished what I wanted to. Now the insides match, so I put radical 2 over 3, and I take 30 plus negative 8, which is 22. Okay, next one, 10 cube root of 81 plus negative radical 3 plus negative 8 cube root of 24. Okay, check your radical, check your threes and see if 81 and 24 are actually perfect cube roots. No, they're not, so I gotta break it up. And then same thing over here. Drop your integer factor. You're gonna have another one that joins it, but okay, so 81, you'd start at 64 decimal. 27 bingo, so it's 27 and 3. So that becomes 3. So we have 10 times 3 times a cubed root of 3, which becomes 30 cubed root of 3. Okay. Plus, now I go simplify the other term. So 24, you take 24 divided by 8, and you fill that in with 8 and 3 you're breaking that into 8 and times 3. So the cube root of 8 is 2. So you have negative 8 times 2 times cube root of 3. Okay, negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. And then cube root over 3. Okay, so now we have the insides matching up. So cube root over 3. 30 plus negative 16 is 14. Okay, next one. 5 square root of 3 plus just the square root of 12. We don't have the outside coefficient, and that's perfectly okay. Okay, now we're on 2s or 3 and 12 here. Nope, so I do my square root times square root. That one we don't have an outside. Here's the problem. 3 is too small to divide by any of these, so that's in simplest form already. So that will just remain the same, unchanged. Well, that means that something better happened with this or we got problems. So 12 divided by 9 decimal, 12 divided by 4, 4 and 3. So I fill the radicals in with a 4 and a 3. So that becomes 2 integer 2, and then square root of 3. We don't need to multiply here because there wasn't that front, so that just goes to 2 square root 3. So, insides are now matching. To add or subtract, the insides have to match. 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay, next problem, radical 3 over 54 plus radical 3 over 16, or cube roots. So there's about three different things you can name them. Okay, so look at your cubes. 54 and 16 are not here, so break them up. You don't, so they're both cubes. You don't have a front. You do not have an integer in front on either one of them. So you start with 54. So 54 divided by 27, boom, 27 and 2. So that becomes 3, integer 3. That's equal to the integer 3. So 3, radical 3 over 2. Then the 16, start it, go with 8. 8 works. Okay, so let's fill those in with 8, 2. Okay, so that becomes 2. So it would be 2 with radical 3 over 2. Okay, so the insides match. We have radical 3 over 2, and then 3 plus 2 on the outside makes 5. OK, 
Okay, back page. Now you got two. That there's nothing in front of that. It's just a square root of 75 plus a negative 4 with a square root of 18 plus a 2 with a square root of 32. So now you're going to make your table. There's just going to be three columns. So you're going to have a radical. It's a 2, trust me, over 75, then a negative 4, and then a radical of 2 over 18, then a 2 with a radical 2 over 32. Now check them real quick and see if 75, 18, or 32 are in here. No, they're not. Okay, so we want to do the breakdown. Carry down your integer coefficient to carry down your integer coefficient. Then let's see what we can do. So 75 divided by 64 doesn't work. 75 divided by 49 doesn't work. 36, 25, you bet, 25 and 3. So this becomes its integer value 5. times our radical 2 over 3. Okay, so I'll cross that out. 5 radical 2 over 3. Okay, now 18. So start 18 doesn't divide by 16, that's a decimal. 9, 9, and 2. So it becomes 3. So we have negative 4, 3 times radical 2. You need to multiply those. That'd be negative 12 radical 2 over 2. Now you notice how the insides of these first two are different, but I'm not panicking. Okay, just trust the process. Okay, 32 divided by 25 is a decimal. Divided by 16, nope, so it'd be 16 and 2. So that turns into 4. So we now have 2 times 4 times radical 2 over 2 times the integers. That's 8 radical 2 over 2. Now, when I go look at the inside of the radical, these two are the same. So I put radical 2 over 2, and I add negative 12 plus 8, and that would be negative 4. Now, this one with a different thing, I just put plus 5 with its radical 2 over 3, and that's simplified. Okay, can't combine the rest of it. Okay, next one, plus negative, so that's first term plus, and then the last one. So now they're all cube roots, or three terms. So 3, radical 3 over 16, negative 4, radical 3 over 54, radical 3 over 128. Okay, look at your cube root, roots. 16 is not there, neither is 54, neither is 128. So, drop my 3. Okay, so 16, well, it divides by 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2, so I fill it in with 8 and 2. So the radical 3 over 8, incidentally, turns into an integer of 2. So we have 3 times 2 times a cube root of 2. And that's 6 cube root 2. Plus, now let's look at this one. Okay, so I know 54 is not a perfect cube, so I start dividing, remember, be on the right list. You'd start at 27, that works, 27 and 2. So the cube root of 27 becomes an integer 3. So negative 4 integer times 3 integer times the radical 3 over 2. So that multiplies to negative 12 with radical 3 over 2. So, so far we're looking good. Now the last one, there's no coefficient, so you just make your two radical 3's right away. And 128, you'd start at 125, 64, so 64 and 2. So radical 3 over 64 turns into 4. So you got 4 times cube root of 2. 
Okay, all the, all the radicals have the exact same thing. So I just go through here and I take 6 plus negative 12 plus 4. The answer is negative 2. Okay. And there we have it. Okay, now on the next page, radical 4 over 32 plus radical 4 over 38. So just two of them are needed. Okay, so I make two radical four, fours, 32, and 48 aren't on here, so they're going to have to be broken up. No integers. And same thing here. Then I start dividing. So 32 divided by 16, touchdown, so 16 and 2. And the fourth root of 16 turns into 2. So we have integer 2 and radical 4 over 2. Now, 48, probably going to be 16 or, or broke. 16 and 3. Radical 4 over 16, we just had that one. We know that that's 2. So we have 2, radical 4 over 3. Okay, now the insides don't match, so that means there's no way to get them to match. That's our answer. You can't combine them. Okay, now here's what I like to do when I have variables in a root. Okay, they both have x squared, so I want you to just bring it over here, put a square root of x squared. Okay, just remember that for later. Okay, when you see variables, you have to add, and there's a variable under the radical, and they don't match up because they don't. You have a 32 and a 72. Or actually, scratch that. Scratch that. Okay, let's do it the other way. So 2, radical 2 over 32x to the second, and then 3, radical 2. I don't like how I was about to explain that. Okay. 32 and 72, check them on the square root list. They're not here. 32 is nowhere to be found, neither 72. Now, when you have a variable, you're going to want to break it actually into three of them. Okay? You will put the x squared in the last one. Okay? So I actually did three of them. So 32, pretty sure you can do, you can't do 25. You can do 16, so 16 and 2. So this becomes integer 4, okay? So we got 2 times 4 times the square root of 2. Now here's what you're going to do with that x. What's 2 divided by 2? You can divide when you have an exponent and radical, you can divide those, okay? 2 divided by 2 is 1, so it's just x to a first power. So what I do is I write 2 times 4, which is 8, and I put that x with the 8. Now if it's to the first power, we don't need to put it. Then radical 2 over 2. So this is 8x radical 2 over 2. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So 3. I'm going to actually make 3 radicals, the third one, to hold my variable. They're 2's again. So 72. It actually divides by 36, 36 and 2. So the 36 turns into a 6. So 3 times 6 times radical 2 over 2. But this variable, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that would just be x to the first. So I would multiply my integers in front, 18, and then place that x behind the 18. Because this times this times x would be 18x. You don't need the first power. Okay? And then I think I've mission accomplished 18x and then radical 2 over 2. So the insides match. And then you combine 18x and 20 and 8x and 20, it'd just be 26x. Okay. Okay, next one. Radical 3, radical 3, that'd be a plus negative. Why don't you put a 1 right there, please? Okay, that'd be a 1. So we've got the cubed root of 125x to the 6th, and then we have negative 1 with a cubed root of 27x to the 6th. 
Okay, this one's kind of a challenging one. And here's why, because it's different, okay? I mean, if you look at your cube roots, 25's there, okay? So we drop that as a 5. I don't make the two radicals, okay? I have no need to do that because it just comes out equal to 5 right away. Now, I still need to divide the 6 by the 3, and that's going to be x to the 2nd, okay? So this is now 5x to the 2nd plus... So we know we got negative. Now what happens again? The cube root of 27 is here. It's 3. So when that's dead on the money, we don't make the two radicals. We go negative 1, and that's equal to 3. And then with the variable and exponent, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so it would be x to the second. So that's going to make negative 3 x to the second. So no more radical. Now we don't even have to worry about radicals. We just go x to the second, 5 plus negative 3 is 2. So that is how to handle it if it's right on the list. You just poof, the radical's gone. It's equal to 5, and then you will need to divide the exponent. Okay, then the next one you got 2's. Okay. So we got 4 radical 2 over 216. Why? Oh, I wrote that completely screwed up. 4 radical 2 over 216 y second, and then 3 radical 2 over 54 y to the second. So unlike the last problem, on, now you're on your 2 list. 2 is not here, neither is 54, so you're going to have to do the breakdown method. Okay, So you got your 4. Now that wasn't there, so you need to break it up into 2 radicals. And the variable, okay, you can make a third radical or you can just real quick take 2 divided by 2. That's 1, okay? You just put your y to the first right there, okay? Rather than up here where I made that third radical, okay, because it just became x. I just divided. Anyway, you could divide from the top. Okay, but you still need to try to break down the 216. So eventually you'd get to 36, okay? 36 and 6. So that becomes 6. So we have 4 times 6 times the square root of 6 times y to the first, or just y. So that's 24, but times y would be 24y. So we have 24y with the square root over 6. Then plus, and the other one, okay, 54 is not there, so you drop your 3. Make your two radicals. Now again, I shouldn't have on that. I don't like how I taught this one up here. Don't make a third radical. Just divide your exponent by your degree. It's y to the first. That'll work better. So 54, you'd start at 27. 27 and 2. Or no, no, I was on the wrong list. See how easy that is to do? You're on the 2 list. You'd have to go up through here until you get to 9. 9 and 6. Okay. So 9, 6. I just about did the wrong list. So that's 3. So we have integer 3 times integer 3 times radical 2 over 6. And then the y variable. y to the first, you could just write y. If it's a 1 power, I would drop it. So 3 times 3 is 9, but then 9 times y is 9y. And I just have the radical 2 over 6. So we have our common radical, and then 24 plus 9 is 33, 33, 33y, excuse me.